The adjusted close, as we saw, you can download it from the Yahoo Finance. You can get that from many financial sites. And we are going to use it extensively this semester to calculate returns from historic data. The, the adjusted close is actually the stock price, but it's amended to it's amended. And it reflects the stock's value after accounting for corporate actions. And what it's almost always used for is examining historical returns. This paragraph came from an Investopedia article, and you can find the link to that in our YouTube description. Again, what the adjusted close does is it adjusts the closing price for corporate actions, which includes stock splits, dividends, and write offerings. And we will this semester see the first two exhibited often. When we use the adjusted close, we can use it to calculate historical returns. And the way we do it is indicated here. We use the adjusted close from one period in the future, the adjusted close for today, and divide it by the adjusted close for the day. You see two ways to implement that um, on this slide. And either one of them results in the same number. And in fact, you can factor out and show that those two are equivalent. I am going to apply these two methods to dear data that I downloaded from Yahoo Finance. Here is the dear data that's listed. And I am going to go down the list a little bit and show one. This happens to be June 29, 2020 data, June 26, 2020 data. And you'll note that there was a dividend declared, 76 cents per share. If you're looking at the close and the adjusted close, you will see that they vary after that dividend has declared, been declared. So on June 26, the close is 149.04. The adjusted close is 148.28. And that is then used, can be used to calculate historical returns. And again, when we use that adjusted close series, we will get the dividend return and the capital gain return. Here's an example. Of, we're going to use that data to calculate a daily return. And I'm using the closing information. Between June 26 and June 29th, the capital gain is $4.67 per share. And that's just the closing difference in the closing price. And then we have a dividend. Add those two together and divide it by the adjusted close on June 26th. And you get a 3.64% return. So you can see there on that day, we have a capital gain of $4.67 per share. 76 cents per share for the dividend. We can do the same calculations using the adjusted close. And here it is for the adjusted close. Now we take the adjusted close on June 29th and divide it by the adjusted close on June 26th. Subtract one and we get 3.66 returns. I did it both ways. You'll note that this return is very close to the other uh, return on the previous page. This return, like this, includes both the dividend and the capital gain. They're going to vary a little bit because of rounding error. If we didn't have rounding error, they would. if we would take this out to three decimal places or the adjusted close, they would vary less. We are going to use that adjusted close in our course often, and you'll use it on homework one in calculating returns.